Marla Marsh worked in education for years in Middletown. When she finally came up on a much deserved retirement, it was anything but relaxing. I went to the doctor's office and I had swollen up unbelievably with fluid. Could not figure out why. Within two years, she saw more than a dozen doctors and spent more than 40 days in the hospital. What were you thinking? What were you feeling when you were in the hospital and you were going through it and, and you just couldn't get any answers? My kidneys were just shutting down. Everything was just shutting down. Things just didn't look good um, back then at all. So when doctors told her that she would need a new kidney to live a normal life and not be on dialysis every day, she didn't realize just how tough the process is itself. She had to see more than 15 doctors to sign on and make her eligible for the transplant list. Normally that would take, uh, depending on the frequency of getting in to see your doctors and whatnot, that process could take up a year to get on the list. It took longer than that for me to get on the list because of COVID. That was a big hurdle. Now, initially, she thought that her twin sister, Monica, would be perfect, only to find out that she couldn't donate due to her own medical issues. But her community is now stepping up and calling for anyone to donate a kidney to Marla. It's something she says has lifted her up. I, I knew um, that I just had to keep my spirits up, um, become an advocate for myself and that I would persevere. A woman who's donated her career to her community, now looking for someone to donate to her. Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.